So we've moved. And the alpaca babies have joined the flocks of lambs and hoggets. The two babies having a clue. Such a huge field now. Whereas this lot know what they're about. Got to count to make sure I didn't lose any animals in the uh, long grass. These two lambs are here. Well, there's one of them. The other one's right there. Loads of grass. Loads and loads of grass. As high as sheep's eye. And it's a complete and utter fable that sheep won't eat long grass. What's lovely is watching them, for example, that lamb right there is going along eating seed heads. Having a lovely time eating seed heads. Delicious ash tree leaves. These sheep are wasting no time in browsing. No right ear feather. These guys are eating. What are you eating? Oh, dandelion shoots. You can see, even with the dead, with the flower no longer on them, they love the dandelion shoots. That lamb was eating bits of daisies. lamb is so fat. That is a lamb. That is not an adult sheep. That is a fat lamb right there. Disappearing in amongst the nettles to go and get a drink of water from the water tank, which is over there underneath the chestnut tree. There's all kinds of plants in this field at the moment. There's purple clover, There's the small daisies, there's white clover, there's buttercups, there's oxide daisies, here you can see some oxide daisies, there's different kinds of hawkweed. There's all kinds of plants. Loads of daisies. Look at all the da oxide daisies. Here's another hawkweed. I love eating this. This field has been left for uh, a few months now, I think. All gathered round to eat ash tree leaves. But the colors are wonderful. You can see the purples. And yellows. Yes, they're buttercups, but we're not polluted with them. There's loads of daisies, purple clovers.
They're chowing down on the plantain in there, I believe. Lots of plantain. The flat leaf one, not the upright plantain. 